As a leader today, it is important that you sell your vision. Today's workforce is very different than the workforce of the last 30, 40, 20 years even, where people were used to being told by their leader what they needed to do, and then they just executed. And that equals success if you were working your way up through your career. But today's employees, today's professionals, they want to know why they are doing what they are doing. So in order for you to be seen as a powerful, impactful, influential leader, it is important that you sell your vision. Remember that leadership is a journey from execution to empowerment. So if you are empowering other people to execute, if you are empowering other people to innovate, then you have to sell that vision. There are two types of visions, an evolutionary vision and a revolutionary vision. Now, an evolutionary vision is a vision that is just the next version of something that already exists. So let's say that there is a way that you do a presentation in your organization or there's a way that you introduce a product into the market. Well, the next version of that, maybe it's more efficient. Maybe it's faster. Maybe it's a slimmed down version of the presentation. So let's say in investment banking, we used to make 45, 50 page books before we went into a client to present an idea. Well, the next version of that is I worked with another leader who said, let's give a preamble to the client. Let's send them five pages of what we're going to talk about when we actually visit with them so we can get a little bit of feedback as to whether or not we're right in the middle of the fairway. That's the idea. That's the topic that they want to talk about. Well, those five pages as a preamble became the basis of our new version of the presentation that we would take to clients. That's an evolutionary idea. Now, a revolutionary idea involves your vision that is something that has never been done before in your organization. And remember, if it is a revolutionary idea, then you must educate and sell. If people have never seen it before, they don't know how to evaluate it and they certainly don't know how to value it. So it's your job to educate and to sell. Because remember, it's not that people hate change, it's that they fear uncertainty. So it's your job to make the vision plain. So now you say, here's an idea, here's a vision, and this is what I think it's going to do for the organization, or this is what I think it's going to do for our people, or this is why it's a great opportunity for us to lead differently or to lead in a new way or to capture the lead in the market. It's important that you educate people on what it is, where it should fit into the organization, who it should report to, what kind of resources will be needed in order to bring this vision into focus for everyone, to execute on the vision. Now, not only do you execute, but now you must sell. Who's going to win? Who's going to lose? Why should people get on board with this? Who will be the winners? Who will be the losers? And how do you answer the losers? How do you compensate them if they're now going to lose an opportunity that they have if this idea comes into play? So remember, as a revolutionary, if you're coming with a revolutionary vision, you must make sure that all stakeholders have an opportunity to benefit from this vision. And you must be very clear on who you need, when you need them, what resources you need in order to make this vision, in fact, successful. So having a vision is key in today's environment because we have evolved from a work ecosystem where people were used to just getting a directive and they executed. The joke I like to tell is that when boomers and older Xers were building their career, everyone knew the joke was, if your boss says jump, your answer better be how high. Well, in today's environment, where millennials and Zers are the dominant population in the workforce, if your boss says jump, they're gonna say why completely different context. So if you're leading in today's environment, you must be prepared with the why. And that involves understanding and being able to articulate your vision, knowing how to articulate it all depends on whether or not it is evolutionary or revolutionary. Go get them. If you
you would like to see more videos and get a few more of my pearls, then like, comment, and subscribe. Thank you.